think there's a lot of new stuff back there. <laughs> money in every bag we open in this unit. Man, I can't believe how much money we made off this one. We are back outside of this insane jackpot of a storage unit that belonged to a drug dealer. We paid $470 for it. We have pulled out thousands of dollars worth of goods. Let's get back in there and see what's hidden in the back. We ended the first part of this video with a grand total of $4,280 and we're gonna start there because it gets even crazier. Let's pull out some of these brand new boxes here. Oh, this thing is brand new and sealed and super heavy. Ooh, and I'm breaking the door already because that's what we do around here. What do you think this is? It says King Rail on it. Okay, so this, maybe you think this goes with this over here? to be part of a giant king size bed? Maybe. That doesn't look king size out in there. Uh, yeah, you're right. Maybe so there's the a couple the in here. Say. Cause there's definitely a lot of furniture. It just says, yeah, what you said, king. Oh, there's a picture. So it's like a headboard. It's probably one of these rails right here. Okay. Maybe the okay. giant box in here is the frame. Let's see, what is this first? Oh, a mirror. Hi. Hi. That's a nice one actually. It's heavy duty. Put that over here as well. Now, the mini fridge is right here. Pulled this out last time, or saw it last time, so I thought it was a safe. Let's open it up. You think it's gonna stick? Mm. Oh, there's actually stuff in it. Okay. At least it's drinks. So, yeah. At least it's drinks. Food is where the gross stench comes from, but yeah, we gotta get rid of that stuff inside there. Let's pull it out for this right side first and then start to pull out some of the furniture. Oh, here's just a pillow. Here is another part of the bed, which by the way, it looks like it's in flawless condition. Usually stuff in like furniture and storage units is kind of dirty and nasty. But look at that. Every piece I pulled out so far looks like beautifully pristine. Now, should I go for this box or this right here? Yeah, that. All right, let's get this sucker out. Ugh. This is like a bed frame basically, I'm assuming, right? Like, uh, I thought it was like a box spring type thing. That's what I meant to say. It goes under the mattress. Yeah. I'm assuming. This is the only thing I've seen so far that doesn't look like brand new and super clean. But it's not horrible. There just it is. the board. It's yeah. just the sides a little bit. But overall, it's still pretty good. Let's just get that over here. And then, should I get the mattress? Yeah. yeah. See the get condition the of the mattress. Huh? Let's see the condition. Oh, this is a definitely a mattress, not a box spring. Oh. Ugh, it just tried to attack me. Did you see that? No stench. That's a good thing. I didn't mean to smell it, but I got a <laughs> nose full of it. So, ugh. I'm kind of confused because this is obviously a twin mattress, but all the stuff in here is, says it's for a king. Maybe there's another twin somewhere in there that makes a full king? Not sure. Looks like there's more brand new stuff in boxes back here, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's get this out first. I'm going to put it on the bed of the truck because some of the clothes we were finding were brand new with tags like $60 t-shirts and like nice high-end stuff so let's see if there's more of that in here or not this doesn't even look like oh yeah it does mm -hmm. is that a jersey heck yeah who is it let's see there's a hardened jersey doesn't look like a real one it's like a something else there's another jersey what's this one? Oh, there's a few i think maybe that has tags on it does it the jersey does yeah oh yeah look at that no, this one's a Jets jersey. Right, man, that. But that one does. This one does have tags. See, this is what I was talking about. And they bought it for a hundred bucks right there for that one. Brand new. That's just a jacket. Let's keep going now. This is why we gotta check even, usually I don't go through clothes bags, but in this unit, we're going through clothes bags. And even have, this one's James Harden. Yeah, I see tags again. Look, not on that one. This one, is that a tag brand new? Yeah, look. Get out. Brand new tag on that. I'm taking 44 that bucks. All right. <laughs> this one, brand new tags right here. Uh, it doesn't have a price tag on it, but still brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. This one, no, not. But still, this is why we had to go through it. It's insane how much new stuff's in here. Anything in here? No, 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 no. Is that all for here? Oh, I see another jersey. I see another one. Looks like Jets again. This one more, the Jets. Yep. No tag on it, but it is, as you can see, the NFL stitched, NFL stitched, so they are authentic at least, there's that. And what else is in here? What is this? What is that? Is that a leather coat or leather jacket? Let's pull it out of the bag and see if that's really what that is. It looks like a vest, actually. 
Look at that. Anything inside the pocket? No. It's a Cremix or something. Brand new, these vests sell for $500. It's unreal. A pre-owned, the one that's sold on eBay sold for 97 bucks, so about $100 on that. Let me make, let's take one last look and see if we see any other jerseys or new with tag. Not that I'm see up. Carhartt, brand new. Look at that. Brand new hoodie. Uh, it doesn't have the um, price on it, but there's the brand new tag. This is crazy how much brand new stuff is in this unit. It really is. These shirts here, None of these look brand new. They're all worn and stuff. But still, even the clothes bags in this unit are money. This hose up here also looks like it's brand spanking new. Oh, it's heavy. Look at that. Theme of the unit, right? Brand spanking new everything. I love this one. There's going to be something super cool hidden in the back. I just know it. I really do. Um, is this another camera? I think this might be another security camera. Why? It's a different brand, though, isn't it? Yeah. Let's open it up. Oh. It's sealed. Nice. Brand new sealed everything. What happened? This dude, this is my guess. So we know he sold drugs. He had a lot of drug charges. My guess was they take compensation if they don't have the money. You know what? I got a $100 camera right here. You give me my drugs, I give you this. That's my guess right now. So let's just keep pulling stuff out. So it seems like very soon I'm gonna have to have a fight with the furniture because we gotta get to the stuff in the back. But for right now, oh, there's a pillow. This bag's like half empty. Let's see. Oh, I thought it was going to be pillows, but it's... Is that a blanket? I thought that was some kind of weird fancy coat. Just a blanket. So this is all the bedding stuff. Now it's time for me versus that thing. And I'm going to win. I swear it. Are you ready? Cal Are you here. ready? Let's go. Fight! No, let's get it down. Ugh. i got to get this double leg takedown. You got this. Ugh. I'm lifting up in the air. Hercules, get Hercules. Slammed. Bang. I didn't think it was going to go out the door that way, so I didn't really have a choice but to put it down. But it looks like a piece. Whoa. Whoa. I think there's a lot of new stuff back there. Look at that blue box. What is that? I guess we'll figure that out. But this looks like part of a sectional is what I'm guessing right now. Nothing like chilling outside of the storage facility in your sectional at 630 in the morning. This thing's actually pretty nice, but we've realized the issue is it's definitely missing a piece there. There's another connecting end on that side. so. It's not complete, but overall what's here is really nice. It's like a black leather one. If we didn't have cats, I would probably keep something like this, but cats see this, they see bullseyes. I'm gonna ask you this question. This is gonna be a hard choice for you, all right? Okay. I'm gonna go through this big squishy bag of probably blankets or clothes, or this bag that looks like it's shoes. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> I guess the clothes, right? No. All right, let's see what's in here. Bad guess. The <laughs> They're not dress shoes. Yay. Nice, let's see. Let's pull something out. Random. What is that? What brand is that? Is that, that a Mercedes shoe? What the heck? Look. A Mercedes shoe. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that in my life. Oh, look. Patronus Formula One team. They're Pumas, but they have Mercedes on the back. I have never seen that in my life. So there's a pair of Mercedes shoes. Brand new, these shoes were selling for about 120 bucks. So ours are basically like new. So I would guess around 80 bucks for the pair we have. Look at these Nikes. They're pretty nice here. These ones are no. You're supposed to be the Nike person <laughs> or Jordan person. <laughs> Brand new, these shoes were selling for between $150 and $200. With ours being in like new condition, I would say it's an easy $100 sale. Yes? No? I don't, I don't know. know. Okay. Well, I mean, they look like ones, yeah. but. There's a nice pair of those. Really good shape. What's this one? Well, they're not George Ooh, ones. Look at those. Yeah. What size do you think they are? Uh, nine and a half. Ten. Dang it. Brand new, these were selling for well over $200 and pre-owned still at 150 plus. What a banger of a shoe. Those are seven. All right, where's the other one? There it is. Check that out. Look at this bag right here. This money. All right, what about this one? A men's Ugg. That should not be a thing. Sorry, I stand by my point of view. Men should not be wearing Uggs, but you know what? They buy them, so they sell, so that works. What is this one? Ooh, look at these. Another. What is that DMS thing? Right there, I don't know. DMSX. Not sure. These ones were not that expensive. On average, selling for about $50 per pair for used ones. I think the both of here? these are kind of Air Force One. They're like a collab from somewhere, someone else I'm assuming. There's that. Then we got, ooh, 
Ew, yep. that's an ugly pair there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. There's that pair of shoes. <laughs> to my surprise, brand new, these shoes were well over $100 as well, but pre-owned, again, they were selling for about an average of $50 per pair. And I think that's all that's in here besides Ew, a little baby sock, but hey, money in every bag we open in this unit. Look how much stuff looks brand new in the back here. We know we're just gonna ignore that for a second. Let's take these two bags out first and see what's inside. What is that? I guess we'll figure all that out in a second. Sorry, I'm curious myself. Which one first, big one or little one? Little one. Little one, all right. Let's see. If it's not shoes, I can tell you I'm feeling it. Let's hope for more jerseys, because those are like the best thing we can get as far as just regular clothes go. Trying to savor the bag here and open it the right way. Let's see. Dang it. You know what this is? Bedding. Bedding? Yeah. Not what we wanted. I felt, thought this one felt like bedding. That's why I kind of wanted to go in the small one first, but we'll see. Ugh, I can't save this one. Mmm. Ugh. It smells like socks. You know that smell of just dirty socks? Yeah. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that smells like. Let's see. Pillows in here. Why do your pillows smell like that, man? It's all pillows and they smell really, really bad like sweat. So that's garbage. Now let's start pulling the brand new boxes out of here and see what we got. But before we do it, guys, make sure you take a second and leave the video a thumbs up to help us out and subscribe if you're new because we are forever buying storage units. Let's start with this one. It looks like a fire pit. I'm gonna try and take it to the truck. Oh, it's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Ooh, I don't even wanna tell you what I'm pretty sure I see back there, but it's money, baby. Money, 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 money. Let's see. Ugh. This one is a 30 inch outdoor fire pit with a black finish. And you know what I can do? I can take my phone, I can go to eBay, and I can go search and scan this barcode, and we'll get an idea of price right here, just like that. And it's not that expensive. It's like 128 bucks on eBay. So it's probably gonna be like 40, 50 bucks in local sale. This little one actually fell apart, but what it was was a 10 piece car care kit. So just something to clean the different pieces of your car. I'm assuming it's all there because I don't see nothing else on the floor, but I don't think that's more expensive. I usually see those in stores like Ross and those discount stores as like a last minute Father's Day gift type thing. If I had to guess, I'd say 20 bucks. Let's bring out the next one. This one looks like some type of leaf blower to me. Ugh, let's see. It is a 60 volt combo kit, trimmer and blower. Um, it looks like it was 270 some dollars, maybe 279, yep. 280 bucks. Do you see a barcode on it anywhere? Uh, I'm not seeing one. Is there one on the bottom? Yes. Okay, let's scan the barcode and see what we got because you know what? I like doing it this way. I hate having to wait. It drives me crazy a little bit. So let's scan the barcode and see what it says on eBay. We are getting a, whoa! 335, 340, 340, 335 dollars. So I would assume that's probably gonna cost about 50, 60 to ship. So I'm gonna assume that price tag is almost right on point. 280 bucks in that box. I know what this one is. This is a nice water dispenser. Why do I know? Because we found a brand new one in the unit earlier this year that ugh, actually kept and set in our computer room. This one is Glacier brand though. There's a giant barcode on the side of this one. What's your guess on price on this big guy? Um, I bet it's not cheap. I'd say 200. 200. Oh, pretty close. 230, 225, 245. So again, with shipping, I'm going to guess you're more right. It's probably going to cost about 60 to $70 to ship something that big. So I'd say about $150 local sale right there. I just tried to move this box and it is ridiculously heavy. A Husky three ton light duty truck jack. That means it weighs 6,000 pounds, obviously. Let's see if yeah. I can lift 6,000 pounds. Oh, I knew you could. See, I'm stronger than I thought I could. I can lift 6,000 pounds like it's nothing. Yep. But not like it's nothing, it's pretty heavy. All right, uh, once again, brand spanking new. I see the barcode on the back here. So let's go to eBay and scan it and see what it's worth. It's going for about $140. So probably about 70 bucks, 70 to 80 bucks local sale. See a brand on this, Nectar? Does that mean it's like a flower or something? <laughs> All right, let's get it down. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. It almost killed me. Let's get down. Okay. Well, let's see. It definitely feels like a mattress or something soft, but I don't see a barcode anywhere besides this shipping one. That's not it. What about on this side? No, there's no barcode on it. But if I had to guess here, this is my assumption. 
So I looked this up and it is selling for $500 brand new and ours is brand new in the box. What a crazy find. It's probably the mattress because look on this side. Now that we got it clear, you can see that this is a king bed, I guess, backboard frame. And this is also some part of the same box. I think that other box out there is too. So all together, I'm assuming it's a brand new king bed frame and headboard. Those two little um, wood things we found go under it. And that's the band, um, brand new, I was about to say band new. That's the brand new mattress. So pretty much almost an entirely brand new king size bed in here too. So when I looked this model number up, I found a set but included a queen bed frame that was going for $2,300. So I went down into the page and I switched it to a king and just that king frame headboard and baseboard and everything was selling for over $2,000 dollars brand new and ours are brand spanking new check the next one out it's a ryobi 2300 psi 1.2 whatever gpm means brushless electric pressure washer and again i don't need to say it anymore but i'm gonna anyway brand new sealed in box never used before i wonder what this guy goes for <clears throat> let's pull out the zay magic phone and let's go get this scan thing and let's hit this upc and see that it sells for about 250 274 dollars so about 300 bucks shipped so that should be between 200 and 250 dollars approximately local sale i mean just hit it in the back it's like well over a thousand dollars so far check this out this is a blackstone 22 inch griddle with hood and flex fold legs in there can you see the top of it, like the picture? Yeah, it looks like what they use at like a fast food place or something to cook the food on. It looks really cool. The barcode on this side, there it is. All right, what's your guess? Give me a price guess. Uh, I say about 200. 200? Yeah. That's a good guess, let's see. It's got, oh, no matches found. Hmm. No matches found. What if you just look up Blackstone 22 inch griddle? Let me make sure it's scanned it right. All right, let's ask Google. Blackstone 22 inch griddle with hood and flex fold legs. Boom. $300 right there, $245 on Amazon, $278. So around $250 to $300 <laughs> on that thing. Not bad. Guess what the final box in the back of the unit is? A brand new portable generator. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and look this up because I doubt anyone's selling that on eBay because I just tried to move it and it's at least 150, 200 pounds and I don't think anyone wants to ship that. So let's look it up. Briggs and Stratton, 6,500 watts, 8,200 starting watts, S6500. Guess that's the best way to do it. Wah! And that's how we end the day. You see the prices on those? Focus. Yeah. Look at that. And that is how you end one of the best units of the year so far. Man, I can't believe how much money we made off this one. All because we saw the brand new lawnmower, I took the chance. I did not expect there to be a whole brand new store in here, but sometimes you just get lucky. Make sure you come back next time to see this insane storage unit we bought for $660, 10 by 10, completely full. I saw a lot of tools, but more importantly, there's this tote that says holsters on it, and that's all I needed to sell me. It's gonna be a good one. Just paid $660 for this abandoned storage unit right here. This one's expensive. You know why? Because right there i see holsters right there if you look in there you can see the military bags in there and i see a lot of coolers which usually you know mean outdoor people outdoors military holsters there's got to be some you know stuff in here fingers crossed there is wish us luck